I'm not sure who this message is for, but God placed this message on my heart. So I want to be obedient and record it right now. So I'm going to get right into it. Jesus wants us to seek him like never before. Y'all, we in the last days. We don't have a lot of time. And trust me when I tell you, I'm talking to you that's watching this video. Listen, Jesus wants to use you in a mighty way. But understand this, the devil is after you. So you got a target on your back because you are marked. You are a child of God. And you see, when the devil can't stop you, he can't stop you. So his job is to distract you. He'll use people. He'll use whatever he can to distract you, to keep your attention off of the Lord. But God is so wonderful. He'll use a video. Uh, he'll use a video just like this. Right. And he'll find a way to get it in front of you to remind you to seek him like never before. He reminds you to get back to your first love. He reminds you to pull back in because you've been drifting way too far to the left. Right. And God wants your full attention. You understand me? I'm going to read you a scripture. I'm right here in Psalm chapter 34, verse four. And it reads, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. That's powerful. Let me tell you why. See, I sought the Lord and he heard me. That tells us that God is listening. And what else does it say? It's saying he delivered me from all my fears. So what does that mean? If you are fearful, then what do you need to do? Seek the Lord. So he'll deliver you from that fear. The question then becomes, what are your fears? You need to lay all them down at the feet of Jesus. Uh, is it the fear of death, the fear of people, the fear of rejection? Many of us were worried about the opinions of others, what they think about me. Listen, stop worrying about what they think about you and start worrying about what God thinks about you. Because God says that you are chosen. He says you are more than a conqueror, not just a conqueror. You more than a conqueror. He says you can do all things through Christ who gives you the strength. So that means Christ will empower you. Man, I'm trying to tell you God loves you. All right. The devil doesn't want you to know about the full authority that you have through Christ. Luke 10, 19. I have given you authority to trample on snakes and scorpions and to overcome all the power of the enemy. So that tells us through Christ, we have we have power over the enemy. In other words, your foot is on top of the enemy. You are above and not beneath. Hey, man, listen, you the head and not the tail. You're the lender and not the borrower. You understand? So you got to walk in your authority, but. You have to seek Jesus like never before. And I'm going to tell you why. Well, number one, because of the scripture I just read you. Number two, when we seek him, he shows us more about ourselves, about how our identity is with divinity, how we are chosen, how we are special. That helps to build your confidence. Because in the natural, if you're not in the word, if you're not plugged in to Jesus, right? The enemy will try to get you off track. You'll be walking around talking about, oh, I'm not going to talk to that person about, about the law because my hair and I did. I'm not going to talk to that person about the law because my eyes too big, my nose too big. I got a big old pimple on the middle of my head. I ain't about to talk to nobody about the law. But see, when I, when, when, when I, when our identity and when our soul focus is on being used by God and saying, you know what? I no longer want to be a Christian that just sits back and just say, well, I'm just going to wait on the Lord to come back. If they don't want to listen, that's on them. That long as they don't bother me, long as my door is locked and I'm in the AC chilling, I'm good to Jesus come back. <laughs> that's what the devil, I'm trying to tell you, that's what the devil wants you to do. But when you choose to really seek the Lord, you choose to, you choose to say, Lord, thank you. For, I thank you for saving me. I want to be used now. I want to be used to go back and get those people who never heard about you. I want to be used to reach those people who've been done wrong and who don't fully understand your love. Because see, some people have the wrong interpretation of who God is based off of what somebody said about God. You know what I'm saying? They may have been raised around somebody and somebody might have uh, said something or did something and then they may just have a, a false definition of who God is. So God sent you to represent. What does represent mean? Represent. In other words, if I show you this water bottle and you say, man, that, I don't know about that water. That water ain't good or whatever. Okay, cool. I'm going to represent it to you. Hey, but let, but listen, let me tell you about this water though. Listen, taste and see. Did you give it a, did you give it a try? 
You know what I'm saying? And it, and, and, and it it works because that person say, well, you know what? That that actually makes sense because this has been 10 years ago since I've tasted the water and it was sour. Well, you know what? Let me, let me taste and see if the Lord is really good. Then they take a sip. Man, that's some good water, by the way. And then, you know what I'm saying? Before you know it, they say, wow, hold on a second. So I've been believing lies all this year. Then you're able to help them understand. You see, that's how the enemy works. See what I'm saying? The enemy will try to keep you in the corner. The enemy will try to isolate you. But listen, man, I'm trying to tell you, God put this video on my heart. I just, I just want to help somebody. I'm not sure who you are, but I just want you to know it's time for you to seek the Lord. Turn that TV off, man. Turn them songs on. I know those are good songs. I know those worship songs. I know it's a sermon. I, I know this. I know that. Even cut this video off. You know what I'm saying? Cut off everything after this video. And I'm trying to tell you, man, listen, just get in, in, in your word. Don't take my word for it. Pray. Say, Lord, I ask you to illuminate your word. Lord, help me to understand. Give me that divine revelation. Help me to see my identity. Give me that supernatural boldness to want to wanna share your word more. Because, y'all, we in the last days. And listen, you got to seek God. All right? I love you so much. I'll see you in the next video.